Hey man, what's poppin'? It's your boy Wife and Lucha. You may know me as uh huh. <laughs> nah, I'm just lying. You may know me as Key to the Streets. Every day we lit. Oh, yeah. uh, all your bangles got my name on it. Yeah. She want me to put my name on it. Yeah. I got that. Wish me well from having like some amazing projects. My last regular job, I worked with my uncle. We were on doing construction. When we working, boom, it was just so much going on. Like, and it's big. It's a school. Like, you can really go in a classroom and just if you tired, man, my brother, we probably go go to sleep. We getting paid like ten dollars an hour, eleven dollars an hour. When I realized I wanted to really be a rapper, I was like 17. I was with Johnny Cinco, that was my homeboy. He, we linked, he was like, bro, we gotta be rapping, bro. You too hard, like, you gotta rap a lot. Like, every day you gotta be in the studio. So I started going to be in the studio with him. He was putting out music, like projects already. It was one of them, John Pop, and I was on it, I had two features. Everybody would write me on Twitter, like, who is this Lucci guy? Like, you feel me? So that when I realized, like, I gotta take this shit serious. Like, folk were really asking about me. I started writing my own shit, going to the studio a lot. Yeah, shit, I ran into Fly. When I ran into Fly, it was called basically like word, like, Johnny Cinco had been told Fly about me. Like, every night I finished all my songs, I sent them to him. For like six months straight, I think it was like 2014. We we made it happen. We had a we had a mean I signed in like November. We dropped them on um, mixtape. Got down in December. I had started doing them show. I was booked the whole year. Like oh man, this shit crazy. Like I get do my first show. Pick on my back end. Like okay, man, this shit finna be like that every every night. <laughs> so. Every weekend, straight the whole year, like even it was Sunday, weekday, like Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I was just doing a show the whole year. Getting big back in, just stacking it, like damn. Like shit was a dream come true. <laughs> when I got my first big check, Warner Brother gave me this check. And then got down, looking at the count, boom, I down them. I don't know the mean. 200s, 300 here. Yeah, we 300 here. <laughs> when I got the million dollars from Warner Brothers, I had bought a house before Warner Brothers for like 250,000 cash. I got a GLE, I had been had that, I paid like 125,000 for. I got a bulletproof truck. I had paid like 140 for that. And when I got that million, I bought on 540,000 on the condo downtown Atlanta. And then after that, I had got that big 4x4 two truck. That shit like 380. So the bag coming in, at the same time, I gotta take care of my mama. You feel me? My brother, his kids, my kids. You know, I'm a family man, I gotta do that. Then I got my baby mama though. Dropping a big bag every day. That shit costs a lot. <laughs> man, the crazy shit somebody ever asked me to do for them. $800 request, man. $100, send me $200 for I can pay to get to court or anything. Like, what do you need $200 to get to court for? You feel me? I was calling Shoe, that my manager, Mushu. And, um, damn. I think it was a, it was a different number. He changed the number. So, so a family, a lady answered. Man, she put like eight kids on the phone. Like, yeah, like eight kids. As soon as I, you know, I speak to everybody, you know, I'm real cool. I speak to everybody, boom, boom, boom. All right, yeah, I have a nice day. All right, we're going to get out of the phone. I get one of the longest messages, like, can you help us whoop the whoop? I have eight kids, and we struggling. Can you help me pay my rent and shit? Like, man, you wouldn't even got that. You, and they look like they're in a big-ass house. You hear me? Like, come on, you just trying to use me, man. <laughs> The most money I ever spent in one day, when I walked out the house, shit, I probably had on a stupid ass outfit that probably was worth, like, just being realistic, like six, seven thousand dollars though, for real. And my watch, you know, right now, that one right here, I paid like a father for that. But I, I probably would have wore my other one, you feel me? I probably, did you like, I left, I ain't, got, I ain't had the other one on. Probably would have had the 80,000. Probably, I, th I think I had the 80,000 dollar watch on, you feel me? My other automobile. And you see all this shit right here, you feel me? These my. Just the goddamn diamond rope, this motherfucker by the door. 
do the smile. Yeah, did it though. Young fifty. All these are fifty and sixty. You feel my peace. You smell it. Boom. So that money right there. Hop in the whip. I'm gonna probably hop in the GLE. That's money. You feel me? But then I think I bought I bought the Maybach, and when I bought my brother car, it was his birthday. You feel me? I bought him the um. Oh yeah, not the Maybach, it right under, you feel me, the um, big body. Yeah, I think it's the, it's the, it's the six, it's, if the Maybach is six, it's probably the 550, you feel me? But big motherfucker got down, the seat got down, recline in the back seat. That shit, that probably was like, probably like 400 in one day, four something, plus my, I walked out the house in, you feel me? So, $600,000 a day, you hear me? <laughs> I had a couple of buyer remorse, like, I, I paid like 2000 for the motherfucking shoes, and I don't even wear them all. I ain't gonna lie, I spent goddamn 400 on that big ass truck, man. Some advice I give to an up and coming artist is like, don't just get caught up in all the watches and diamonds and shit, cause that shit ain't gonna get you shit. It's like they just think the money fall in your lap fast. You feel me? Like, boy, yeah, ass rich. You're like, hey, Luke, what the hell we doing today, boy? They gonna, hey, let me hold it, let me get it. Not just, like, not partners either. They like, you might just pull up in the hood, man. You ain't seen that in so, so many years. They like the first thing they say, cause they know, like, damn. You got to check. They just different to them. Some people, though, they treat me different because they don't be knowing how to talk to me no more. You feel me? Because they think, like, now he he different because he got the money and he famous. So they be, some people be nervous. Some people try to use you and take advantage of you. You know how that shit go. Well, the things I'm going to do to make my own kids' life better than my life was growing up, you know I'm going to get them every, every present. They want, like, toys and shit. They get all the toys they ever wanted. I'm gonna teach my kid that like education is real important. I'm gonna set up trust funds and shit for them, you feel me? Like, I'm gonna just try to build a franchise lead for my kids, you feel me? So they won't have to worry about trying to figure it out on their own. It's like the blueprint here, we just gotta do it. Follow the steps. I'm gonna take them everywhere and let travel. Showing the world, showing things I never seen when I was young. Like, they gonna know goddamn it's a Europe, Asia, South America. You know, like, they gonna know about all that. 2019, big year for Wi-Fi and Lucci, you smell me? And the whole game. We going with my Wish Me Well 3 album. I came out with Wish Me Well 1, my first ever project. So this one highly anticipated. I'm gonna hit them with that and a lot of more projects this year. Like, I usually drop like one project a year. So this year they can look forward to a lot of projects from me. I'm bringing out my artists. I got, I'm working on my label, so, and making my label bigger. Trying to get me a little acting role or something, man. We working, we trying to be big. Yo, 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 it's poppin'. It's your boy, YFN Lucha, and I'm signing out, man. You know, I blew the biggest bag, huh?